kickoff for the Hawks less than 24 hours away, and right about now is when the nerves start to kick in. And that's where Channel 7 Sports Director Steve Sullivan is, and it already looks like Sully is up to something. Sully, you just make sure you have a voice by tomorrow for the special. <laughs> right. This isn't just a regular football game this weekend. It'll be all in the family. Gosh. The cuteness, <laughs> unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of repetition going on here in Jonesboro, and I'm not talking about going back to the GoDaddy.com combo three years in a row. The tax plan could raise about $7 billion a year. I will say it's raining outside. Hopefully the hogs can make it rain inside. Tip off about five minutes away. These little guys right here are so loud you can hear all of them from a mile away. Media day ended about three hours ago, so Sully, I guess it's time for me to get the howl out of here. <laughs> in Jonesboro for the Red Wolves. Two things you probably notice that's different about this live shot. One, I, I have a jersey on that says Sully on the front, and it's a number seven now. It's almost like Clint was the cure, because these patients seem to forget their condition when they saw this NFL defensive tackle. You don't have to stand up. Oh, you don't have to stand up at all. <laughs> He wants, oh, he wants okay. to. How you doing, sir? You don't have to stand up on my account. Oh, I'm not thank important. You. Well, you know you're kind of bigger than I am. No. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Don't you don't have to stand up. You have to I stand. can. I just want to prove to him that I can. You can do oh. it. There we go. Oh, no. I'm taking. I'm married now. <laughs> and the roles were sort of reversed today. They made Clint smile more than they did themselves. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the University of Memphis. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they let you back in Arkansas. They let me back in Arkansas. <laughs> you often feel like, oh man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sorry for this person. I have some kind of sympathy for it. But when they're making light of it, it makes you feel like, you know what, they're, they're doing good. At least they still have their joy and their sense of humor. So that's always a good thing to have when you're fighting. And yes, they're doing good, but things just get a little bit better when a Super Bowl champ makes a surprise visit. You know, take time out to come, you know, see us guys that are, uh, you know, getting treated for myeloma. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. We worked on Omani, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big football fan. I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana, so we pull for the Saints, but I, I'm a Tampa Bay fan, too, now. <laughs> He's a hunk, too. <laughs> we all often uh, feel like, you know, we have so many problems in our lives that's going on, and. You know, like you say, you be grateful at all times because you could, you never know what type of shape or how type of position you end up in life. And these people are living testimony, and they're fighting a good fight, and they're they're doing a great job out here. Just before seven o'clock Saturday on the 1200th block of West Jefferson, Yana Jones says she heard screams just outside her apartment, and says what she found was horrifying. I looked over and seen that they had her down on the ground in between the tree limbs you know, mauling her. Two pit bulls, one black, one brown, both attacking seven-year-old Harmony of Springfield. Joan says she then took immediate action. So I ran off the porch and ran straight over there to her, and I just start punching it in its back at first because I didn't have nothing to hit it with. But Joan says after repeatedly punching the dogs, it was unsuccessful. That's when Jones's boyfriend came over with this metal candlestick holder but says nor did that phase the dogs. Wasn't doing anything. I mean, I could hear the, the dog's back break, and that's how hard I was hitting the dog in his back. Bruises from the candlestick holder bouncing back every time she would hit the dogs. See all these tree stumps right over here. And as she walks me through her footsteps on that day, she says she can only picture one thing. Every time I close my eyes, all I can see is her just looking up at me, telling me, help, help, you know why they got her by her head. Now Harmony is recovering in St. John's Hospital, and even though Jones sacrificed her safety, she says she can't take credit for Harmony's survival. If it wasn't for her mom coming out when she did and jumping on top of her baby, ain't no telling what would have happened to that baby.